number 24, Jeff Gordon. A name you're going to hear a lot about for years to come. He's one of the all-time best. One word, champion. This car, this number, forever synonymous with greatness. Now, at the sport's most celebrated event, we'll say goodbye to one of its most celebrated drivers. Through three decades, Jeff Gordon and his iconic car have reached the sport's greatest heights. Jeff Gordon, his first ever cup victory. Here comes Jeff Gordon to win the Daytona 500. Jeff Gordon will win for the second time. He's going to win his third Daytona 500. He has won the championship. Jeff Gordon, you're a four-time champion. Racing's best have chased the number 24 for so long. And for the final time, he'll lead them to the green flag on the hallowed road at Daytona. As his legendary career nears the finish line, others look to build a legacy of their own while the future of this sport tries to make their mark. Today, only one will etch their name in NASCAR lore. Only one will experience the ecstasy. Am I dreaming right now? Checker flag, perfect! The Daytona 500 goes to Jimmy Johnson. Who will have their great American victory at the great American race. It's the Daytona 500, next on Fox. Jeff Gordon's final full-time season. Jeff Gordon's numbers make him a surefire Hall of Famer. He became the face of the sport. He had to transition from Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt taking the sport forward. And with a season to go, he can improve on his amazing numbers by possibly winning his fourth Daytona 500. Also, he's been an Ironman today. He starts his 762nd consecutive race. By the time this year runs out, he'll probably set the record for NASCAR starts for a driver. Terry Bradshaw in the 70s, Magic Johnson, in the 80s, Derek Jeter in the 90s, they all retired after they won multiple championships and all with the same organization. Now it's Jeff Gordon's turn. Jeff Gordon, 24 car. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, 24 car. Man, that's there's a lot to that. It's going to be Jeff Gordon winning. Jeff Gordon wins. Jeff Gordon wins. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third Daytona 500. I remember the first time I met Jeff Gordon, and Dad walks up. He said, "Hey, once you meet this guy, this guy's going to be good." Uh, so he was right. You know, you don't get to race against your childhood hero that often. My hero growing up, the guy that I always looked up to. I got my first go-kart when I was five years old, and of course the number had to be 24 on that ride. In 1993, I joined your fan club, and I'm still a fan in 2015. I grew up as a Jeff Gordon fan. Everything Jeff Gordon. One day I was actually able to meet him. I was only about 13 years old. My mom's got a couple outfits still that she has kept. As a kid, I wore a Jeff Gordon hat. I mean, I got a couple die casts and a t-shirt that I actually still have hanging in my office at Cobblebush Motorsports today. For as short as Jeff Gordon is, when you look in the mirror, it's like they use a magnifying glass in the windshield because when you look back there, he looks bigger than everybody else. And it's usually because he's a lot closer than everybody else. One of my favorite Jeff Gordon moments is the first time I got to race him for a win. I'm racing Jeff Gordon for a race win. Something I'll always cherish. My favorite memory of you is starting alongside of you at the Daytona 500 and that's a pretty cool thing for a little girl who has always been a Jeff Gordon fan. I still remember the first day that I actually met Jeff and uh, was at lunch. You know I knew I was probably in for something that was over my head when he ordered a salad for lunch and I ordered a cheeseburger. Jeff Gordon, a great battle. When Jeff came into the sport it really opened up the window for where a driver came from. It's going to be weird to see a young kid that's a foot taller than Jeff Gordon driving this thing next year. At least a foot, Jeff. It's crazy to think about things um, coming around like they have. I thank you for being the face of our sport for so many important years and really thrusting our sport into mainstream media. We're all going to miss you. You're definitely the face of NASCAR. Thank you for my job, basically introducing me to my wife. He'll start the 500 from the pole.
You know, I want to say thanks to Jeff. It's been great to race with him and race against him. Thanks for all the memories. We're going to miss you, man. Really proud of you. A guy from California digging into the roots of a southern sport and taking it mainstream. He joins us live from down on the track. Uh, Jeff, we appreciate you being on our program. We had, I know you listened to the drivers, they all signed a, a windshield for you. I know you requested no gifts before uh, race during the course of this season, but we'll have that sent over to the shop with the autographs of all those Thank you. competitors, right, that you just heard from. This has to be an emotional moment more than ordinary. Oh, it is. Uh, this is an amazing moment. I can't believe I'm on the pole for this final Daytona 500 and can't wait to lead this field off to, uh, to green. It's like a storybook, uh, you know, in, in, in the making or, or happening live. And so I, uh, I can't tell you how much that means to me to hear from uh, your competitors and your peers to, you know, hear those things that they're saying and have uh, guys like that that you're racing against be uh, big fans of yours for, for a long time and to get to race against some of the best drivers out there in the world. It's amazing. This, uh, this is a moment that uh, I will cherish forever for sure hey Jeff it's DW Jeff I can give you 92 reasons <laughs> 92 reasons why you shouldn't be retiring can you just give me one just give me one why you should be retiring you know what uh, it's just it's just the right time it's the right time in my life I have these two little ones here uh, with us in the truck that are enjoying this moment as well and I want to enjoy more moments with them uh, that's just one. You asked for one. That's all, all it takes. <laughs> well, you got two good ones right there with you. <laughs> yeah. well, that's good enough, Jeff. As, as fans see you uh, touring around the track before the, the start of the, the race, uh, is uh, you know, are there anything on your, your driver bucket list? I know you've done everything. That Maybe you'll walk away that you hadn't done or wish you'd done differently. Win the Daytona 500 in my final one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, there's always a new challenge. <laughs> no, I mean, Kentucky's certainly on my list. That's a track we haven't won at. And, uh, I, you know, I know I'm listed as a four-time Sprint Cup champion, but I don't have a Sprint Cup trophy. And we've got a race team that's capable of doing that. And that's what's making this season so much more special. Is uh, and, and I know a lot of people are having a hard time accepting and understanding why, why do it now. You, you still, uh, you're still you competitive out there. But, you know, I, I, I do want to be able to go out on my own terms and on top. And I've got a race team that can help us do that this year. Hey, Jeff, you're, you're certainly a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. I, there's always a debate about numbers. Do you, you think there ever should be a time when we retire a, a number, a driver like your, uh, the caliber of you? You think we should ever think about retiring numbers? Uh, may, maybe, but not when you got a guy like Chase Elliott coming behind you that's going to go out there and make that 24 look really good. So um, I'm excited about not just this season, but uh, ne next season as well and, and, and the things that I get to be a part of and, and, and do in this sport. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, but I'm certainly going to take advantage of every moment and every fan that I, I get a chance to meet this year. They've been amazing, and uh, this week has been incredible, uh, the interaction I've had with the fans. I can't thank them enough. Can't thank all of you guys for covering this sport the way that you do, and looking forward to uh, a heck of a ride today. It's going to be one heck of a race, my gosh, and I'm excited about our drive-in Hunger Chevrolet. And, Jeff, we'll let you go, but we want to thank you at Fox Sports. You've been here for every race since we've come on now in our 15th year. You've been a great competitor and champion. We wish you luck today, and we'll talk to you in the next few races and hopefully the end of today. Thanks for being on with us. All right. Thank Thank you guys. And Jeff going to be a guest analyst in some of our races on the Xfinity Series on Fox and Fox Sports 1. Third on the all-time list among drivers. Where does he rank among the all-time greats? In the well, sport? in my opinion, I say this all the time and people, they don't understand. I call him the GOAT and they think I'm uh, being critical. I'm not. The greatest of all time, G-O-A-T. And, and, and I, people say, why? I said, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers he has compiled over his 23 years. Numbers, yes. Four championships, 92 wins. His top fives and top tens are amazing. I, yep. He's the greatest of all time and in my book. The time that he came in with other drivers being as competitive, more competitive, absolutely amazing of what he has accomplished and still can accomplish through the course of this season.